Hey everyone, welcome to Dr. Munglish channel. Cholesterol is one of the most well-known biomolecule even for general public. There is so much misinformation going on around cholesterol. So in this video, I will shine some light on some of these myths and what is the medical facts on this cholesterol molecule. Let's dive into that. Now the myth number one, cholesterol is bad. The fact is, it's not true. In fact, cholesterol is essential for our survival. Every cell in our body needs cholesterol and it is an essential component of all our cell membranes. Not only that, cholesterol is necessary for some of the important steroid hormones that are made in our body like male hormone which is testosterone and female hormone which is estrogen. Hormones that regulate electrolytes in our body like aldosterone, corticosterone, they are also coming from cholesterol. Vitamin D is synthesized from cholesterol, bile acids which are essential for digestion and absorption of our dietary lipids are synthesized from cholesterol molecule. So cholesterol is not bad at all. But yes, when cholesterol is in excess more than what our body needs at that time, cholesterol can be a risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. Coming to myth number two. LDL is bad and HDL is good. The fact is not totally untrue. LDL carry cholesterol from the liver to all our tissues for their cholesterol requirement. So LDL is an essential lipoprotein that carry cholesterol in the blood. Yes, LDL in excess levels in the blood will lead to hardening of the arteries, a process called as atherosclerosis. HDL on the other hand is said to be a good molecule because it carry excess cholesterol from peripheral tissues to the liver so that it avoids accumulation of cholesterol in the peripheral tissue. Now let's get into myth number three. I get cholesterol only if I eat it. The fact is it's not true. You get cholesterol even if you don't eat it. Since cholesterol is such an essential molecule for our survival our cells are designed to make their own cholesterol when we don't get cholesterol from the diet. Consumption of carbohydrates is sufficient to make new cholesterol by our cells. If we consume cholesterol in the food, our cells will make less cholesterol. If we don't consume cholesterol in the food, our cells will make more cholesterol. So cholesterol is essential and it is balanced accordingly. So in fact, consumption of excess carbohydrates lead to increased cholesterol levels in the blood. So next time when you consume diet that has refined carbohydrates, think about cholesterol. Now let's look into myth number four. Only men should worry about cholesterol. The fact is it's not true. Men and women should worry about cholesterol as heart disease and is an equal opportunity employer. There is no difference between men and women in terms of cholesterol synthesis and regulation in our body. In fact, according to one study, prevalence of higher cholesterol is more in women than in men. Once women loses cardiovascular or cardioprotective effect of estrogen, women will have higher incidence of heart disease than men and also women will have worse outcome from heart disease than men. So in fact, women should worry more about cholesterol. Now let's get into myth number five. My weight is normal so I cannot have higher cholesterol. The fact is not really. Person with normal weight may have higher cholesterol. Blood cholesterol levels are affected by individuals genetics, thyroid function, medication that the person is taking, daily exercise, sleep and diet. Just having normal weight do not guarantee normal cholesterol levels. So the factors that you cannot modify like age, genetics can contribute to high cholesterol levels in the blood. Now coming to myth number six. If I had high cholesterol then I should have symptoms. The fact is not always. Signs and symptoms of high cholesterol is always late and often fatal. 
it comes in a sudden and severe pain like angina heart attack and sometimes it will lead to sudden death high cholesterol continue to accumulate over months and years before it leads to blockage in the arteries that leads to heart attack or stroke so do not wait for symptoms of higher cholesterol but keep yourself regularly tested for cholesterol levels at least once in 2 to 3 years if you don't have any family history of high cholesterol if you have a family history of high cholesterol then it should be more frequent like at least once in a year now finally let me give you some helpful tips to control cholesterol levels if you do not have a family history of high cholesterol you can improve your cholesterol by maintaining a healthy weight avoiding sweets high carb carbohydrate foods and foods made with refined flour include high fiber foods like greens and green leafy vegetables do regular exercise avoid smoking and avoid excess alcohol use and if you have a family history of high cholesterol if you are diabetic and if you are at risk of cardiovascular disease then you should consider including medications like statin group of drugs to control cholesterol along with all the additional measures that i have just now explained so this is all about some of the myths around cholesterol molecule and also what are the medical facts surrounding that myth i hope this video has helped you in clarifying some of the misinformation around cholesterol molecule thank you for watching and i will see you around in my next video till then you take care